Yes. 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 Y
Hey, Jesus. He told her. He told her. Come in the house. Bring your boys in. And close the door. He said, bring them in. Bring your lineage in. Because what I'm about to do is not only going to bless you, but it's going to bless your sons. Come on, sons represent airship. Sons represent lineage. Sons, hallelujah, we carry the name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A son reproduces a So bring your boys in and let him partake of his own. My God, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Th
and upon her son. She brought the vessels. Yes. Hallelujah. And she poured out. She poured out. So what are you, what are you saying? Are y'all? I don't got none of this written down. I'm just speaking as the Lord speaks. He said, so she poured out. So now that your oil has been heated, you got to pour it out. 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 Somebody needs your oil. Somebody needs your oil. Come Somebody give the Lord a shout. 
Hallelujah. My God. You yeah, yeah. have heard yeah. preachers say yeah. and ministers and yeah. Hallelujah. different ones say that I'm giving out all the time and right. I don't have nobody pouring into me. Right, right. I'm always pouring out. Come on. Uh, mm. But there's oh, something on. about when you get alone to Jesus. Well, He'll fill you up. Yeah. To overflow. Yeah. And you don't have more than enough. Yeah. Verse 6 says, and it came to pass. Yeah. When the vessels were full, yeah. that she said unto her son, yeah. bring me yet a vessel. Yeah. And he said, there's not a vessel more and the oil stayed. Watch this. God is not going to cause you to run out of anointing. You will not run out of oil. He will cap your oil. Hallelujah, Jesus. And keep it whole for you until the next season. He will cap your oil. Let you get some rest. Command the fire back you uh, and the oil will begin to flow again. Yes. Thank you. Verse 7 says, Then came, then she came yes. and told the man of God. Uh -huh. And he said, Go sell the oil yes. and pay thy debt. Yes. And live thou oh, and the thy children the rest off, of the rest. off the rest. Yes. That sounds like harvest in your harvest to me. Yes. That's what that sounds like. Yes. Uh, he said, Now. <laughs> Take that <laughs> and sell it. <laughs> and I'm thinking about this thing. I'm going to borrow these people's vessels and fill it up with this oil in my house. And now i got to go sell them the oil that I stored in their vessels. See, God will take that which you borrowed.
Fire. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Because you like the way the money look in your bank account. Shots fired! Watch this. You forgot you got an open car. So just like you empty it out, God said I'ma pour it back in. Alright. But pay your debt. Don't be a rich debtor. Whoa! A rich debtor. Jesus. Testifying about your increase with debt. Yeah. Testifying about your increase, and the next week you need to borrow two cans of bills. Wow! Because you didn't handle your increase right. Wow! All right, help us. That's a good word. Well, that's good right there. Wow! While we were on vacation last week. I took one of my credit cards. I took one. That's oh, good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I, I had received an increase on That's my credit right. line. Because yeah. I had been paying it on a regular basis. Yeah. They found me worthy for an automatic increase. Ah, come on. Not an increase that I asked for. It came automatically. Because I was being a good steward of it. Yes. Yes. So I took my credit card. Yes. And I said to myself, Which, Ooh, self? I'm going to shop good with this credit card. Self? <laughs> But watch how God, how good God is. All right, come on now. I forgot I had the credit card. Right. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I forgot I had it. Yeah. And so I didn't even pull it out to the last day. Uh, but come I was there. You know what God did? God protected me from getting in a debt yeah. when he, that he had already got me out of. Yeah. Y'all. That's good. That's good. Talk. Help. Help us, Lord. Free somebody, come on. Yes, Lord. Yes. I looked at it. <laughs> and I said, instead of spending my money, yeah, I'm going to buy now and pay later. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's credit. That's what credit will do for you. Yeah. yeah. A lot of folk buy now and don't pay later. Oh, and don't pay later. I, 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 this is how God has taught me how to harvest my harvest. Okay. Every one of my credit cards is set up on an automatic payment. All right. And it's not the minimum amount. All right. That's right. I have a set amount. Yeah. And I don't even use the credit. I use them every now and then. All right. All right. Every now and then. If I go charge me on Michael Kors, I, I don't use the credit card again until I done paid off. All right. That charge. Y'all harvesting good. your uh, harvest. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's wisdom. Well, there was a time when you would go into places and you say, no, don't. Mm -mm. I, I already know I ain't going to qualify. Uh -huh. yeah. But now you know you qualify, yeah. but you choose not to qualify. Oh, that's right. Right. That's right. Wow. Yeah. You got the choice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We know you. Come Harvesting on. your <laughs> harvest. Yes. That's good. So he said, pay thy debt. <laughs> pay thy yes. debt. And then live, live on the rest. On the rest. Live on the rest. Right. Like right. on the rest after you done paid, paid your, your debt. debt. After you paid it. your debt. You got to pay the debt first. That's it. You pay them off, yes. lose them, get rid of them. Yes. Don't go charge them all the way back up. Right. 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 Verse, verse 8 says, <laughs> and it fell on a day. Y'all got real quiet. Y'all don't want to shout over there. I don't got one person shouting over paid our debt. That dead killed him. One person shouting over paid our debt. Come on. Yeah, I like to pay mine. 
Come on, but yeah. We gonna really hard, but still hard. Yeah, we gotta yeah. You gotta follow the instructions it's of the Lord. Yeah. He said, "Pay not that, and live on the red." Live on the red. That's right. Don't oh, y'all ain't gonna man. shout. Pay not that, and live on the red. Yeah. 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 Amen. That way you won't get it dead in the fuck. That's right. Yeah, that's the good that's right. teaching right here. And it fell on a day, verse 8, that Elisha passed to the Shulaman. No, we're done. Okay. That's going on into the next thing. Go back to 1 Kings. Go to, go to 1 Kings. I'm going to be through in a minute. I'm going to be through in just a minute. Go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 17. I'm going to be done in a minute. To God be the glory. I could paraphrase it. This is the morsel of bread. Um, first King uh, chapter 17 verse 7 it says and it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land uh -huh. yeah. and the word of the Lord came unto him saying arise get thee to Zarephath which belongeth to Zidon and dwell there behold I have commanded a widow woman there to, su to sustain thee yeah. so he rose and went to Zarephath yeah. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel. And and a little oil in a cruise and behold I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die we don't even recognize that we have a harvest we preparing to die when God is saying, I have plenty for you. Yeah. Verse 13 says, And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and thy son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the fruits of oil fail, until the day of the Lord sendeth rain on the earth. So sometimes we got to just hear the instructions of the Lord. No matter how foolish it sounds, she was declaring, I don't have enough. I barely have enough. God is coming in your season of lack to give you a plenteous. But he wants you, he wants you to trust him with that that you have. He said, trust me. You say, I'm too tired to praise God. He said, trust me with the little bit of strength you have. I'm too tired to get to the house of God. He said, trust me with that which you have. God, I don't have enough to give my tithes. He said, trust me with that which you have. I don't have clothes to wear. Trust me with that which you have. I don't have Trust me with what you got. Bring it to me. Hallelujah. I'm thinking about the woman with her two mics. And when she gave her two mics, the Lord said she had given more than all the kings and all the rich men that had given her because she gave what she had. Harvesting in your harvest. God's going to cause you to have increase if you trust Him. In Matthew 14, Matthew chapter 14, glory to God. Matthew chapter 14, to God be all the glory. Matthew chapter 14 in the Word of God. Says, Hallelujah. Yes, God. Matthew 14. 
14 and verse 15. God will take what looks like it's not enough All right. and calls it to increase. Yes, it will. Matthew 14 and verse 15, it says, And when it was evening, uh -huh. his disciples came to him, saying, This is the desert place, y'all. Uh, this is the dry place. Ain't nothing, yeah. out, here. Ain't nothing out here. Ain't nothing flowing. You're looking at your situation, and it looks like it's a desert place. Uh, like there's no increase that can come. He said, and the, and the disciples said, And the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. Give you them to eat. Sometimes when we think we don't have enough, God says, I have more than enough for you. It says, and they say unto him, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. God said, sit down. I got more than enough for you. I know you came in and lacked. Sit on down. And took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed it and break it. And gave the loaves to his disciples. And the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up of the fragments that remained 12 baskets gets full. Listen, God's getting ready to give you more than enough. He's getting ready to give you an abundance. He wants you to take that that looks like it's lack. And he wants you to trust him with it. As we see here in the scripture, what happened was in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We give you glory. We give you praise, Father. 